In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to expand or explode a segment of a live video for emphasis. We'd like to show you an example where we pretend we're an arborist and we've done some drone footage and we want to illustrate some areas where the trees need to be inspected for Dutch elm disease. Please look at the following illustration and then we'll show you how we did that. First thing we would do is we take our video and place it on video track number one. I'm using the normal stacking order. I'm going to highlight that and then right click and choose a copy. And then with our playhead all the way to the left, we'll move to track number two, highlight that, and, and we'll do control V to paste. Now we have the same video twice. What we're going to have to do is, is find the area in the video where we want to begin to focus on the trees. I have placed a timeline marker on that. If I click there, we're going to focus on the trees over here at about 14 seconds into the video. So what I'm going to do is double click on my second or lower copy of the video. That will get me into my PIP designer. It also puts my playhead at that 14 second place. This is where we want to change the scale of our video. So I'm going to click a diamond by the scale value and now we're going to take the scale and we're going to change it by deciding the size of the video we want to be in our square. Now it could be a square, I could use a rectangle, I can change your proportions. I'll leave it at the default 16 by 9 ratio. So how big do we want the trees to look? Well let's take about this size here and I'm going to put them kind of on top of where the trees are now. So when it expands, it will be this large at this point. Now what I want to do is I want to enlarge my timeline a bit, and then we'll move back a little bit, maybe, oh, let's see, something like a second. I'll set another timeline value by clicking on the diamond by scale. And in this case, I'm going to go to my scale slider on the left side, and I'll reduce it down to zero. Next, I'm going to take my next scale value and decide how long I want it on the screen. Well, we want it so long as the video is focusing on the trees, it will come back down over the structure. And let's make it short. Let's move about here. And then I'm going to duplicate my enlarged keyframe value here. So I'll click on the diamond and I set it and it should give me the same value as the previous one since there's no keyframe value there. Then what I'm going to do is move over about the same amount of time, number of frames, and then we're going to click another keyframe value. And now what we're going to do is take our scale value for this one and turn that back down as close as we can to zero. So here's what will happen when we play this segment. We'll find that the, the video will enlarge that segment. It will enlarge what looks like the whole video. We'll change that in a moment. It enlarges it, and it stays frozen on the screen at the large size, and then it shrinks it down to nothing. Now, if you want to add a border, you can also do that. I'm going to click on the controls. Now, there's one thing that will happen, will we'll alert you to when you do a border. I'm going to move on my border controls. Here we go. I'm going to click the size down to 1. And let's change the color from white to, let's make it a bright red. And click on OK. And now we have a little red border and we have it enlarged. But we don't have the trees enlarged. How do we adjust for that? I'm going to click on that same second lower clip and click on the Tools menu and choose Crop, Zoom, and Pan. And now I'm going to go anywhere close to my 14 second mark. Doesn't have to be precise, just in that area. And then we're, that's going to help me identify my pan zoom area. 
I'm going to set a keyframe by clicking on the diamond with a plus, and then we're going to zoom it in tight and move it on top of my trees. I'll go tighter yet. It kind of depends on what resolution you have and, until it gets too fuzzy. And that's what the zoom will look like. And that looks fine. Now we don't worry about the time before this area because that's going to be an area where it's shrunk on the other control so you don't see it anyway. So all I need to do is make sure I'm zeroed in. I'll click on OK. Now I've adjusted for both of those controls. So when we play it, play it for a second here. My drone flies up and in a bit we're going to see the trees that are the focus of our arborist attention. And then when we get roughly to the 14 second mark, it will expand that segment live. You see the cars moving. And then when we're done pointing out what they are, it will shrink back. Now you notice one thing that we have here is we have this little red dot. That's, that's the border. If you don't want the dot, you have to remove the border. But if you like the border, it's going to show up anyway. But that's a pretty easy way to do that. The next thing I did, I just added the title. So we'll turn the title on. And I added some music. We won't actually play the music, but we'll show you just a little bit of this with the title. And so we'll play that again. And it zooms out. And then we have our check for Dutch Elm disease. And that's roughly how you do an expand and contract picture within picture on the same video at the same time.